Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is Dr. Recommended Bible Study, 9 out of 10 doctors say. And we appreciate all those doctors for participating. Now, today we're looking at Psalm 112. We're going to be looking at verses 7 and 8 today. 7 and 8 form a very beautiful little chiastic piece that should be read all together. 7 and 8 just really go together, and it explains the character of the righteous man. It, it, it drills down to his heart level. So we're going to get a, an inside look at his heart here, and we're going to find out something very interesting about the blessed man, the righteous man, the upright man, the good man. We've had him described all the way up the line here. We began with the blessed man, blessed is the man. Then we had the upright, under the upright there rises light. Then in verse 5, we had a good man shows favor. And then in verse 6, the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. And that's where we are, 7 and 8, we're working under that heading of the righteous, but actually it's all the same. The righteous, the good man, the upright man, the blessed man. We're talking about the same fellow here. We've been building this character sheet, if you will. We've kind of been putting together our profile of this man. And today we're going to find this little beautiful little chiastic structure here. And let me read for you verses 7 and 8. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. Now, I said we have a chiastic structure here, and a chiasm is a stepped, almost like an outline. So you you begin in one place, and then you sort of uh, walk up the steps to another place, and then you backtrack again. So notice how this is written. He shall not be afraid. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid. Do you see that? See how I move myself up to trusting in the Lord, and then I come right back to the same place where I started. So this is called a chiasm. And it's used in Hebrew poetry, and it's used effectively here because what this tells us is that trusting in the Lord is the pinnacle of everything that happens in the heart of the man who's righteous, the man that's good, the man that's upright, the man that's blessed. So that man, in his heart, if we drill all the way down to the base element of his heart, we're going to find out that he trusts the Lord. And that's what makes him who he is. That's what makes his character such. That's why he shows favor and he lends. That's why he's going to be in everlasting remembrance. That's why he's gracious and full of compassion. That's why he's righteous. That's why his righteousness endures. That's why light arises for him in darkness. Why? Because he trusts in the Lord. Now, we've already really had that. Because if you go up here to verse 1, blessed is the man that fears the Lord. Well, we would assume that the man that fears the Lord also trusts the Lord. But here we have it spelled out for us in this beautifully artistic way. He shall not be afraid. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid. You see, and his heart is fixed and his heart is established. Those two go together. I would imagine that we have two very similar Hebrew words there. I've not checked, but I would imagine they are. Trusting in the Lord is the pinnacle of this chiasm. And then you'll notice that we have two addendums added here. He shall not be afraid ends with of evil tidings. And he shall not be afraid, ends with, until he see his desire upon his enemies. So evil tidings and enemies are also opposites or parallels. And so we have those working very nicely within this chiastic structure. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. We'll find out more about this righteous man and see another comparison with Psalm 111.9 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.